Hey guys, this is going to be your horoscope for the full moon in Scorpio. Now, the full moon in Scorpio is happening on Saturday, May 18th in Hawaii at 11, 11 a.m. You guys know what that is. That's a portal. <laughs> okay, so the full moon in Scorpio is also called the flower moon, the corn moon, the planting moon, and the milk moon. And... This is also a true blue moon. Okay, so once in a blue moon describes a very rare transit in a rare time of rare transits. <laughs> um, Pocahontas comes to mind, you know, in the beginning when she's singing um, to the blue corn moon. She's talking about this moon. Okay, it's a blue moon and it's a corn moon. Okay. The blue moon, it's a seasonal blue moon, okay? There's two different kinds of blue moons, and these are both equally accepted definitions. It's all about your perspective. There's a seasonal blue, uh, blue moon, which is this one, okay? It's the third out of full, four full moons in a season, okay? Now, last month and the month before, we had a full moon in Libra at zero and then follow up with the full moon in Libra at 29 degrees. Now, a lot of people were calling that a blue moon, but it it was a blue moon, but the different type of blue moon uh, where it's called the monthly uh, blue moon in which a second full moon exists within the same 30 day period. OK, and this was in the 30 degrees, you know, the beginning and the very ending. We don't see 30 degrees because 30 degrees is zero in the charts, okay? And those full moons, the full moons in Libra that I was just talking about, um, they were both super moons, okay? Um, I believe the, let me check if that, uh, I think that second full moon in Libra was also, uh, no, 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 the first full moon in Libra at zero was the super moon, and that was the last in a series of three super moons, okay? I lied. <laughs> so the, 20, uh, the full moon last month was not a super moon. But, yeah, we have a special, special full moon <laughs> in this one. Nowhere else in the world will it be happening at 11, 11 a.m. Everywhere else, it's 2, 11, 3, 11, 4, 11, 5, 11, whatever you will, but... That, to me, that feels like there's something special happening here in Hawaii. As you guys know, I do my astrology uh, all for Hawaii do, at Hawaii times and Hawaii dates because there is a difference. A lot of horoscopes that you guys see um, is usually done according to universal time, which I think it's like 10 or 11 hours ahead of us or whatever it is at the um, in London. <laughs> Anyways. So what I had titled this, and there are several titles, okay? There's so many good titles that speak to the themes of this full moon, okay? Um, the purge, <laughs> the bloody purge. And for some of you guys, a lot of you females out there, sorry, guys, shut your ears if you want to, you don't want to hear this. Um, you may be having your period around this time, um, bloody moon, literally. And then... Um, you could be also noticing that they're aligning with the full moons or beginning to align or others around you. Now, when I do the horoscope, this is not necessarily for you. This is the energies that are present for each sign. So it could be happening to you. It could be happening to another person of the same sign that you know, or you could just be watching other people experience this. But the overall theme, like I said, is the purge. Okay, if you've seen that movie. And then there's the good versus the bad, which is the good versus evil, the classic fight, demons and angels, okay, and what I was getting was no one is as powerful as one who has conquered themselves, okay, uh, shaking the earth with power, feeling empowered, the phoenix is awakened and rising, um, inheriting or taking of the power or having power taken from you, pulling the rug out from under you, or basically feeling powerless. Now, this is a time when your greatest secrets, your greatest fears, and the greatest evils are manifested. Okay. So, 
I had a lot of information for this full moon and um, even more I'll try to throw it in there now back on November 7 2018 we had the new moon in Scorpio at 15 degrees okay and there was this question are you afraid of the dark when a moon is at the 15 degrees it's asking you to decide to to decide which side which end of the spectrum do you belong to? Do you belong to the good? Do you belong to the evil? Um, do you belong to the positive? Do you belong to the negative? So with Scorpio, it begs the question, are you afraid of the dark? Okay, specifically your dark. <laughs> and we planted seeds within and within others pushing for self mastery and it's to recognize what we hide from ourselves and others. It, what was in the dark will be brought into the light, especially with the sun in Taurus opposing, equally opposing. So we have two completely opposite forces, sun in Taurus, full moon in Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio is the hidden. It's also the hidden enemies. So we have Taurus, which is open enemies. So it's what was in the dark will come to light. Okay, the evils will come out. You will be shown the evils of all humanity, um, the underbelly, and the underbelly, all things that disgust you, as well as the beauty surrounding that. Because you can't have light without dark. You can't have dark without light. Okay, they come together and meet somewhere in the gray area. The eighth house is about death, regeneration, uh, res resurrection, your ability to deal with life intimacy sex bonding shared property and resources secrets psychology therapy and psychiatry um it's deep one-to-one -one emotional relationships as in soulmates and twin flames um it is anything of an occult nature from astrology yoga to ouija boards detective work psychic power sex dark sex changes brought about by crisis it's also death and taxes, your partner's money, legacies and wills, okay? How you respond in a crisis, it's emotional truths, it's also hidden talents like the ability to regenerate, okay? Um, being able to be alone with yourself. And this is where we conquer ourselves and regain the power with, within, okay? What was lost taken or given given away knowingly and unknowingly okay it's about obsessions compulsions habits and addictions that have lost power over us okay time to rise to our power this house also involves uh tycoon tycoonery and wealth it's about rich people wealthy people okay it's what you think of others' values. It's also the underworld and, you know, other things that are dark, like the vixen, um, sexual dark. Okay, Lilith. Um, I did get a couple of other things, so be prepared. This is a very, very dark moon, and I'm going to give you to give it to you straight because, um, let's be real, they've been showing me some real dark shit, okay? Um, some really dark shit so I'm just gonna mention a few I'm not gonna get too much into it because y'all gonna turn this video off and be like I'm never talking to that bitch again um, <laughs> but they're showing me some scary shit but you know as much as scary shit exists the miracles are found in the middle of that okay so there are themes of hanging electrocution murder beheading any kind of dark pleasure, um, a lot of hidden secrets are going to be coming out, um, like I called it, the purge, okay? This is about demons, whether real or perceived. In Scorpio, that energy is the destroyer of narcissists and all things toxic, okay? The destroyer of vampires, it's also the vampire, okay? It's the destroyer of the succubitch, <laughs> also can be the succubitch, um, if the scorpionic energy is coming from the shadow side okay now some of the negatives also more negatives excuse me um, having the life sucked out of you it's also leeches it's demonic possession also with the Sun and Taurus possessions <laughs> demonic possession or just being you know demonic about it it's mine you know that kind of 
just saying okay some people could be seeing ghosts spirits apparitions or energies mm, basically all things from beyond the unknown the mystery the dark and cold uh, toxic and poisons okay there's really really nasty themes executions violence ancestors and voices from the past okay it's the underbelly of the beast it's also magnetic sexuality okay there's a lot of crisis and intensity at this time now some of the things I got in channeled and I'm not even gonna tell you all of them just what I wrote down here <laughs> I have my channel links written elsewhere okay so this is also a time of puzzles like in the movie uh, Hellraiser um, theme surrounding the black box okay solving the box the cube mm. <laughs> the dark cube puzzles like Hellraiser, hell raising, dark secrets, emergencies, horror, the horror of, the horror story, telling your horror story, telling a horror story. Um, it's also all things light. Like I said, it's all things dark and all things light, okay? It's where they blend, it's where they merge in this gray area, okay? So it is a merging of two different veils. So it's like a portal is open to go in between or be in between those worlds. Come to a point where you choose neither light nor dark, where you are solely in a gray area and acting on a second-by-second -second basis, not necessarily creating judgments or it's making decisions, not necessarily a judgment. <coughs> Excuse me. It is... What I got was burning for you or through the fire. I also got scared shitless <laughs> and plague, savagery, uh, violence, and brutality. And I had an interesting ha a thing happen the other day. I came into the store and there were 20 or 30 flies in the front window, big fat flies. And I was like, oh, God, was there some, you know, demon passing through here? Did somebody try to curse me? And uh, even I went into another place and went and used their bathroom and there was a fly in there with me with a cockroach on the ground kicking its leg it was dying okay and then i came back into the store and i went to look up a vendor i punched in the number without looking and the number that i punched in brought up a picture of a fly and i was like whoa what the <laughs> okay so i was getting lord of the flies and i was also led to that movie okay so i read a little synopsis about it how things kind of go sideways ape shit you know it exactly like the purge okay things were coming up to the surface and things were basically vomited onto our existence literally um this is truly about all forms of cleansing okay all forms of detoxing now Scorpio is ruled by plant, uh, by Pluto and Mars. Those are the two planets. Now, Pluto is about death and rebirth, compulsion. It's also judgment day. It's karma, okay? It's transformation and power, obsession, succumbing to the urge, kind of like uh, OCD, you know, compulsion, same, same um, level, okay, or same intensity. It's also... Um, Pluto gives an individual the ability to get to the core of things and to destroy the things negative and to bring on healing, regeneration, as in the phoenix, phoenix rising. And the co-ruler co co is Mars. Mars is about energy, assertion, action, drive, ambition, courage, assertiveness, and will. It's also about surgery and cutting and... Um, war okay it can be about anger also the hidden anger so you're gonna see a lot of these themes here um, I was gonna say here and there but we're already seeing the energy rolled in I believe about two days ago I started feeling this energy which is when I saw those flies so I, I kind of felt like oh my god is a demon coming but <laughs> the demons are within us okay our own personal demons <laughs> So, at this time, we have a stellium in Taurus. That is a lot of energy. And we have a stellium in Capricorn. Holy crap. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven planets and seven points in the Earth. And with Scorpio being literally the portal or the 
dark, all forms of cleansing, it's like the earth is being cleansed. The, your comforts are being cleansed. Your safety and your security is being cleansed, okay? There's so much that's being purged, like, um, like I broke out. <laughs> I broke out the other day. That is a purge of the skin that has something to do with Libra because, well, no, actually Taurus because Taurus is ruled by Venus also having to do with the sensuality of the skin being disrupted by something coming out of it. <laughs> okay, it's also supposed to be a bloody moon. So, you know, my references earlier to the the monthly timing <laughs> for a lot of you women out there you're going to be getting your period and for some of the men it's like a menopause you're gonna be acting like you're on your period sorry just had to bring that up and say it okay so we have chiron and aries which is about identity stability of the identity knowing who you are taking back your power and moving forward with it as that new person with all the crap removed okay um this purge is in order for you to get your power back okay then we have black moon lilith and neptune both in pisces um one is at new beginnings and the other is at healing purging and unconditional love so i see a few nines here there's a major purge going on major and it's also about major earth purge okay so there may be earthquakes there may there may be things being unearthed physically physically literally and spiritually and these are things all about the home the mother mother earth early emotional security with the mars being in cancer also it's also about the father so there are themes surrounding your early emotional relationships to a parent or a parent figure because this is about nurturing and protection, you know, along with the earth themes. So we also have Jupiter and Sagittarius, which, which Jupiter is the husband. So some of you lucky girls or lucky men out there, you've met somebody who's a Sagittarius and um, you might be getting married this year. This might be the one. Okay, but Jupiter is the wheel of fortune. So there's, at this time, the it is at 22 degrees. So there is a high degree of luck right now that things will happen to you that will make things go smoother or it will bring you peace, these lucky events. It can be unlucky, like running into an ex and having to put on your girl panties and you know, either you just don't acknowledge them because they're not in your world anymore or, you know, you bump into them and you're like, oh, you know, have a nice day. And then you're out, you know. You don't care anymore. You're not angry. You don't want to be angry. You've purged that shit. You've forgiven them and you've forgiven yourself for being dumb enough to have been with them in the first place. Because obviously you had some issues too. Just saying. Okay, so there's some lucky chance events that are happening. And then we have Mars and North Node and Cancer. So some of us are headed home in more ways than one okay this can be physically like you could be traveling home or you could be traveling to see your mom or your mom could be traveling to see you or you're going home because of a conflict with parents or you want your mommy or you want your daddy or you miss your daddy okay at vice versa they can be traveling to you some nurturing figures can be coming to visit you and you guys could be hooking up and renewing a relationship to where you had conflict with them in the past but now there's this new type of harmony and a new type of intimacy guys we're writing instruction books so you know you need to throw out the bathwater but keep the baby <laughs> okay so basically that's what we're doing we're throwing out the bathwater and we're keeping the baby and we're building fresh with the baby and allowing that baby to grow and figuring out new instructions on how what this is going to look like and i'm talking about your life your personality what you want your destiny okay now some of us we think we're headed in to one place and all these obstacles keep coming to us okay so we're having to go around them over them and through them and then there are some that are saying stop this is all you've learned right here and now you got to go that way okay and there's no turning around and going back headed in that direction some of you will find that you're in a completely different direction and you kind of feel lost like well, what the hell do i do now <laughs> okay you know and this can be a case of hell breaking loose um 
for other people. So we have quite a few assisting transits this week. Okay, Venus enters Taurus. Okay, so... Crap, I completely forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Venus entering Taurus. Venus is love, pleasure, money, sex, and in Taurus, it's sensuality. It's about having loved ones in your home or feeling happy to have loved ones in your home or visitors um, or feeling more secure in having your family in your home, your children in your home, having all the comforts you need. Um, it's, it's about security and love, pleasure, finances, and at home. Okay, feeling safe. Can you trust this person? Can you trust that this will be the home? Can you trust yourself in building and creating this job? Can you trust yourself to take care of yourself? Okay, when you can take care of yourself, then it makes it easier to take care of others. Same with love. When you can love yourself, meaning you have to forgive yourself first and love yourself first. And all the extra that comes along with that as you're abundance flows in while you align you can give that to other people okay so mercury also moves into taurus so there's a lot of thinking about home communicating home traveling home visiting home visiting the the old revisiting Okay, with these retrogrades in action. Okay, thinking about the good old days, the school you used to go to, the candy you ate, the food, the food you used to eat. You know, comfort foods, macaroni and cheese. Here in Hawaii, that would be like musubis, manapuas, fried rice, saimen, <laughs> that kind of deal. But following up with that, we have Mars um, entering into Cancer, and that's about nurturing your soul okay taking action on your early emotional security taking action in regards to your roots home family where you came from where you're coming from now okay because honestly roots aren't about a physical place where you came from it's about the atmosphere that was there so literally you can put your roots down anywhere okay and make that home home is where the heart is Home is where you choose to grow, okay? So anywhere can be your home. It's what you make of it, okay? Three grand trines are also present. Now we have an astounding three grand trines, three grand crosses, and three squares all within the same week, okay? With the grand trines, there's one that's earth, one that's fire, one that's water, an extremely lucky and valuable time, okay? With the earth, it's about using your instincts and your intuition above all else the fire trine is about lighting a fire under your ass okay it is the flame of alchemical flame of initiation it's time to get things started okay and then we have the grand water trine okay and and all three of these i'm pretty sure they involved outer planets which, which makes their energy so much more powerful so much more long lasting and this makes it this an incredibly magical week which is scorpio's trademark we are the uh, magicians okay we make magic so you're gonna see a lot of magic you're gonna see dark magic you're gonna see light magic and with the taurus uh, element in it you're gonna see some funny magic <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the grand crosses. Two mutable and one cardinal, meaning blocks, distractions, and detours that threaten to divert your energy. Okay, so there are things that are going to get in your way, blocks, that, walls that you're going to run into, borders that you're going to run into, and you've got to figure out how to get around them. But don't spend too much energy on these distractions because that's taking away from your energy to manifest. Okay, deal with it and keep moving do not stay stuck do not obsess very important with the pluto retrograde and the scorpio moon the obsession component okay the word psycho comes to mind so literally the psychos and the sexual deviants the perverts every perversion known to man will be all over the news all over the tv all these subjects will come up some nasty shit i can't even deal with i don't even want to hear <laughs> okay um the sick side too so with the T-squares, the T-squares are about 
being forced to make a decision, okay? No more waiting. Do this now. Decide now and move, okay? Because it's time to move forward, and this is the path opening up for you to take a step, okay? So with one of them exiting through Jupiter and Sagittarius at 22 degrees, this was the lucky, lucky or unlucky opportunity, sometimes, you know, big girl panty thing, um, in order to gain some peace, Okay, so you have to decide, am I going to put my big girl panties on or am I going to run away, not deal with this and harbor anger and resentment for the rest of my life? Okay, you choose. It's all about what you focus on, right? And there's another one that's exiting through the moon in Libra at 20 degrees. So that's forcing you to decide, are you in? Are you out? Will you commit to this relationship or do you want to run away? <laughs> okay, should you, should you stay or should you go? A big question that's, um, the relationships have been hit really hard since the beginning of the year. There's been that question. Now there's this huge question of trust, which brings me to the last T-square, okay? This one exits through uh, Black Moon in Lilith, and that deals with trust issues, okay? You're afraid to open up. Can I trust this person? Who can I really trust? There's a lot of false people out there, okay, with the Scorpio energy. And then there's a lot of um, uh, friendly false people, <laughs> you know, um, fakes. A lot of fake out there. Oh, and I was getting doppelganger, um, mistaken identities, um, lookalikes, impersonators, um, Two-faced also, okay? And there's traitor. I just heard the word traitor as I'm filming this. Okay, we also have Venus conjuncting Uranus. So conjunctions are about energies working together. So this could be a sudden marriage, suddenly falling in love, suddenly becoming famous, um, suddenly coming into a fortune, or a once-in-a-lifetime chance to have fun or once in a lifetime party some kind of event that's once in a lifetime happening in several areas that's at three degrees so it's about news information it could be a child if you've been barren you could suddenly show up pregnant okay if you can't have kids you could still suddenly show up pregnant <laughs> can you say alien implantation <laughs> okay so three is about it's Mercury, it's communication, it's about traveling. So there may be traveling to see a new family member, okay? Maybe you found a new brother or a new sister that you didn't know about before. Maybe you found out your dad isn't really your dad. Maybe you found out that your children were switched at birth and the child you've been raising isn't really your child. Things of that odd nature. Okay, <laughs> then we still have that existing south node, Pluto and Saturn conjunction in Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn Expresso. Spankings if you don't change. Spankings <laughs> if you don't do the right thing. Karma will get you. And I just uh, seen the witch from uh, The Wizard of Oz. I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> okay, Scorpio energy, it's about strong inner core okay they're very self-reliant they have a magnetic flair for influence and these energies are all about this is what you're going to be capable of at this time okay there's imagination and determination uh scorpio is the essence of power so there's a lot of ambition like ceo ambition i'm going straight to the top kind of deal um the ultimate power Magnetism, it, they're observant, they watch, they're the fly on the wall, or should I say the uh, spider on the wall, okay? It, they're very emotional, intensely so, and they're idealistic, okay? There's this simplicity to, you know, black and white, smooth, sharp angles, and clarity, okay? Now, Scorpios have, this energy has good judgment, they're very shrewd and accurate. They're deep and intense. The memory should be phenomenal right now. In fact, you're probably like, I can't believe I didn't remember that. Or I suddenly remember this. Oh, or 
you know what I just thought of? Or, you know, like I was saying earlier, remember the good old days when this happened, you know? That kind of thing. Memories appear and disappear. And that's also another theme. Appearances and disappearances. Okay, and I think I wrote that in here, but there's just so much information. I couldn't even write it all down. I just left it as it was because I don't want you guys to, um, I don't want your ears to explode <laughs> as my brain is exploding. Okay, where was I? Um, the phenomenal memory. Okay, it's very creative. I said imaginative earlier, right? They're original, one of a kind. It's a very passionate energy. It's also about resources and being resourceful. It's death and regeneration, coming back to life, resurrection, coming back from the dead, okay? <laughs> I just heard I used to be dead. So this could be the disappearance of people and the reappearance that people once thought were dead or Maybe they thought their career was dead or a talent was dead or a relationship was dead or a part of them, they felt like they were dead inside. They're coming back to life, okay? This is a forced transformation, okay? So, where was I? Oh, um, Scorpio has legendary self-control and willpower, okay? They're also about spirituality or spiritualism, Okay. They work to benefit humanity, and it's important to the self-expression right now. They have high standards, okay, and there is this pride of craftsmanship. You want things done perfect. So it almost feels like perfectionism, but not quite. <laughs> they're just good. They have, they're highly skilled. There is this executive ability, but at the same time, there is this fear of being controlled, okay, uh, Scorpio energy is good at hiding feelings, but with the sun and Taurus, you can't hide it. <laughs> you cannot hide. You cannot hide from the Pluto and Saturn uh, retrograde also, okay? The, these things are all coming out. The cards are being laid on the table. Oh, which is another theme, okay? Cards, anniversaries, weddings, birthday, welcome home, um, new baby, and, and tarot cards. <laughs> any kind of cards business cards okay it's in the cards <laughs> literally so you're gonna see a lot of spiritual stuff you're gonna see a lot of people doing tarot or starting tarot um, practicing tarot astrology um, anything mystical you're gonna see a lot of or you're gonna notice that it's there's heightened activity in those areas okay also like people religious people because it encompasses spirituality encompasses religion although it is separate from uh, spirituality also okay so uh, you'll be driven by your passions but you're not you're gonna deny that that's part of your motivation okay and the big theme surrounding this purge is you must learn to let go emotionally and feel the pain <clears throat> because it's going to expand your phenomenal ability to love. Like I said, the purge. <laughs> I, I heard the let it go, let it go, but there's too much, too many people singing that song. So I, <laughs> I generally don't tell you guys when I hear that song. But yeah, it's release, surrender, a final release, a final surrender. Okay. Now this is going to enable your true potential for self mastery and wisdom. And it's also concerning secret sorrows or troubles. And most likely, whatever's going on, it's something that, uh, some kind of drama or trauma or loss that has to do with family or health problems or family members with health problems. We're gonna see all kinds of combinations, okay? You're gonna find it hard to trust and be vulnerable to and with others okay with the scorpio energy it takes a long time to commit because you must earn that trust okay so a lot of you could be feeling like i'm not sure if i trust this person they haven't given me any reason to and the important question there is have they ever given you any reason not to and if you want to go ahead and trust them if you're feeling like this time will be different roll with it okay if you still have questions, if you can trust somebody, but 
the universe is urging you to do it, do it, do it, trust them, listen, because this time may be different. People are changing, they're changing their attitudes, they're changing how they react. So if this situation would have happened one year ago, you might have gotten a toxic, negative, or explosive response. But this time, things just might end and you guys might get back to loving each other and loving one another, okay? Where was I? Okay, I already went through all of this. And, and this is, uh, oh, did I mention legacies, wills, and uh, trusts? Not only trusting somebody, but an actual, like, physical paper trust, you know, inheritance. This is emperor and empress energy at the time with the two combined, okay? It's, you're deeply sensitive and you have a talent for healing, helping, teaching, or learning, okay? And your powers of suggestion will be strong. You will hold sway with a lot of people. You will be magnetic. People will be drawn to you, okay? And... Your interest in, in death and the afterlife, and I'm not me, and I'm not just talking about physical death, okay? I'm not, I'm talking about also talking about transformation. This is what do you do after the toxic is removed? What are you left with? You're left with something that's pure, right? Through the fire, burning away the toxins, purging the toxins for purification okay that's why the main name of this the name of the, the main name of the game for the scorpio full moon is the purge okay we're gonna see nasty things come out and i keep saying that nasty 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 <laughs> on many different levels um you can guide others in a spiritual way a spiritual way at this time and use this time to focus on intimacy and self-mastery skills okay and you could possibly start some kind of a financial plan at this time or negotiations or uh, like a budget or um, terms, <laughs> all the same thing, okay? So shadow side, being obstinate, stubborn, hard-headed because Scorpio is the second most stubborn sign. Okay, the first most stubborn sign is what is exactly opposite. So we've got stubborn and more stubborn butting heads at the full moon. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and this energy can be jealous, resentful, secretive, domineering, okay, overpowering. Uh, instead, uh, People, instead of feeling the emotions and going through it, they want to cut it off, kill the pain. Um, rather than suffer, they would rather just go numb. Okay, they don't want to feel. They want to stop feeling. But you must feel it to heal it, right? That's the only way you're going to deal with it. There's also this fear or dread of being rejected or unwanted um, or abandoned, okay? And... There's deep insecurities, too, with the sun in Taurus. There's a fear of not being wanted, fear of not being needed, fear of being useless, okay? Um, there's something here where you may suffer the early loss of a mother or wife or some kind of nurturing mother figure could be grandma can be auntie can be cousin definitely female energy and i feel the physical females too i don't feel that means this event could be happening right around now where we're losing quite a bit of women um, some can be male physical males with uh, divine female energy in them and then also at this time this could also be about male figures that have passed or you know the legacy part of we are all that's left behind after he's gone they just told me to say that <laughs> it's it's not in my writings okay so this could also be a time where you need to escape or there's a need for escape you just want to get the hell out of there or you just want to get away <laughs> take a vacation um, zone out, 
have quiet and peace with nobody else around you. Um, this is also a time where people can fear being controlled, you know. You don't own me comes to mind. Also in Labyrinth, which is basically what we're doing is we're navigating a labyrinth in the movie where she realizes the very last line of the poem. What is it? You have no power over me. You know, and then we go back to the Wizard of Oz, like I quoted before, you've always had the power within you. Okay, that is the answer. Why can anybody save you? Because you haven't been saving yourself. You are the only one with the keys. The only one. It's up to you to find it. Okay, this is also about, to the puzzle element, element it's about locks and unlocking it mysteries and with you know Pluto and Saturn we've got cold cases coming up cases being reopened cases being revisited old murders old serial killers um, old deaths we're looking at it again trying to get a fresh perspective in many different ways this could be law enforcement this could be like reviewing um, CPS uh, cases um, everything is going to be gone gone over with a fine tooth comb as they're brought up over the next couple of months with the pluto and saturn uh, south known retrograde okay where was i mm, okay um there's a time uh, oh i was still on the shadow side okay so we are on fear of being controlled fear um of people having power over us, um, fear of being pinned with our back to the wall. Um, this is also a time where you may see people who still stubbornly hold grudges. They're vindictive, controlling. There could be cheating sexually, um, sexually de deviance, and it's also lusty. And I'm talking about in a bad way, okay? Because there's positive sides to these these things, but I'm also I'm talking about the shadow side, okay? The sick side, obsession, stalking, possessiveness, um, rejection, uh, treachery, spitefulness, self indulgence, um, being temperamental, narcissism, and lack of willpower. It can also be a time who affects male sex organs. So some guy, some people can be. <laughs> Whereas others will be boing, opposites, right? Shadow side, like uh, regular side. <laughs> and your elimination system, um, the purge, toxins, releasing toxins from the body too. And with the <laughs> Taurus element, God, I'm sorry, guys, I got to say this. It's been about breasts. It's been about butts. It's been about assholes. It's been about poop, shit, whatever. You know, possessions being called shit. <laughs> like my shit this this is my shit don't touch my shit um farts all those kind of little boy male things <coughs> are coming up so you may be noticing that people are talking about those things more i'm sorry i just got to tell you you know <laughs> leave it to me to tell all and leave nothing back hold nothing back leave nothing behind okay so we're going to start with you aries this is going to be in your 6th house Okay, you're going to have an intuitive, imaginative personality, and your approach is going to be balanced and strong. Okay, if you aren't finally getting something from your new health habits or exercise regimen or diet, or even if you're just in a new meditation program, um, you need to figure out why. Why is this not working? Okay, because things should really be coming together right now, and you should be starting to see some kind of payoff. Or some kind of fruit being bore from this okay but watch out for excess okay don't do too much okay because you could probably feel as with any full moon that you can do more 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 you may be urged to do things more like in my head it's saying meditate more and I'm like shit I ain't got time <laughs> but um don't overdo it okay don't do too much don't eat too much because uh you're gonna end up paying for that <laughs> okay once you finish what you're doing at work um you may be overloaded and have multiple projects that you're working on okay but you're gonna be able to finish some things up and it's all rush 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 do it now do it now 
you're going to be really happy, okay, as you stand back and admire what you've done, what you've accomplished with pride. I did that, okay. And it's also a good time to celebrate, okay. So have fun at work. Uh, if you have your own business, close the door and have some cake and a glass of wine, okay. It's your damn business. You can do it if you want. And if not, go have uh, treat a friend to an outing at lunch or something. I don't recommend you drink if you don't own your own business because that would get you fired, right. Also, another dark theme surrounding Scorpio, alcohol, and addictions, okay? Toxic things, in a toxic way, you know? If you have a glass of wine every night, which is so a Scorpio theme, so a lot of you guys could be finding out that you want to have a glass of wine, not necessarily a beer, but something tasty and sophisticated, maybe even champagne. It depends what your sign is, okay? Now... even make up a reason to celebrate something okay so Aries it's time for you to celebrate things that you are finishing up and what you have finished Taurus this is gonna be in your seventh house you're gonna have heightened magnetism and flair and at this time you can manifest things into reality okay it's a wonderful time to admire your partner okay admire them for who they are how they shine for their beautiful personality and to admire how you guys mesh so well together okay you guys can be enjoying uh, the fruits of your mutual labor something that you've done or accomplished together or you guys could be finally connecting um, new developments on something that you've been building working on building because Taurus is a slow builder okay you want security so you go slow so this has been a slow um, ascent <laughs> a slow ascending okay slowly rising up with this person okay and this can also be for not only romance but this can also be in business cuz as, as long as you're dealing with somebody on a level playing field, okay, you need to bring things to full bloom right now so you can begin harvesting the seeds that you, you previously sown. Gemini, this is going to be in your eighth house, okay? You're going to have creative strength, a purpose. If you've been trying to apply for something like a credit card or a loan or, or trying to shop for a better deal on existing things that you're paying out, okay, you might have a lot of paperwork that you have to wrap up or get, you know, W-2s, uh, your birth, a copy of your birth certificate, your, uh, I don't know, your, um, your rental contract, things like that. All the paperwork that you, it's about paperwork. Getting your paperwork together in order to ensure that your finances or what the investment that you're hoping to get, whatever this new deal is, will come through, okay? So you will be scrambling. It is a full moon, but there's some serious potential for some money here. Okay, it's also good psychic weather. <laughs> and you can put the finishing touches on restoration projects, okay? Like things you haven't gotten to in a while, clean them up, dust them off. Even if it's clothes from your closet, you know? I just heard cleaning out the closet, m and m So you could literally be going through your old clothes and bringing out things because let's face it, it is spring, but we're officially coming into summer weather. In Hawaii, it's freaking hot here, okay? Time for me to go dig out my tank tops and my shorts and my bathing suits, okay? So you could do that too. And it's also time for you to declutter, okay? Get rid of that hoard of crap you got sitting over there. You haven't touched it for six months. It's in boxes. The boxes are getting rusty, okay? <laughs> Not that boxes rust, but I'm just saying, you know, deal with it. Get ready because you've got some action coming. So clear the decks and get ready for some action. Cancer, this is going to be in your ninth house. Your mentality is going to be sharp and you have the ability to win favor with other peeps right now. For you guys, think big. Okay, stretch your imagination, look outside the box, and push the envelope of your beliefs and feelings. Okay, your eyes are going to be open during this full moon energy. Okay. Your window on the world is going to expand, okay? It's been expanding for a little while. It's been a slow build, but now we have this crescendo or a quickening. All of a sudden, you could feel like, oh, my God. I put it together, or I figured it out, or I've got the key, you know? And 
you're like, well, what the hell do I do with it now? But don't worry about it. You'll get the opportunity to use that somewhere down the line. It'll take care of itself. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay. You may also get some good news on the legal front in some kind of legal matter as things wrap themselves up and come to a conclusion. But don't count your chickens yet. It's easy to overestimate right now. Just back away from it. Detach yourself and it'll happen for you. Okay, but I just want to let you know that this can be a main issue that will be resolved now. Something that's been up in the air for men, uh, for a long time. I almost wanted to say many, many months, but for some people it's years. Okay, now main issues will get resolved because the main principle can get agreed on right now. You guys will have a chance to fill in the details later. But if you can get somebody to say yes, okay, there still remains a question, but how? save it for later <laughs> the main the big thing is that they said yes it's a go now start thinking and start planning and coming up with ideas or am I going to sorry lost my page okay Leo this is going to be in your 10th house you're going to have intuitive imaginative personality and your intellectual approach will be strong and balanced just like all the other fire signs okay this may be the perfect time to button down some career matters that may have been developing for a while okay so you may feel urged to take care of it the pace will be accelerated and you will have some last minute things coming in that you have to take care of but you're going to be able to see exactly where you stand and exactly what people think of you your product or your services okay make sure I was gonna say blast yourself, but <laughs> promote yourself, okay? Blast the promote, promote yourself, okay? Let people know what you do, what it is you stand for, and what services you offer. This is gonna be, um, this is gonna have extra carrying power. The Scorpio moon is very magnetic, so people are gonna be like, Oh, I want to buy one of those <laughs> kind of deal, okay? Now, people are also talking about you. There's a certain buzz about your product, okay? People might be knocking knocking on your door. Uh, hey, I want some of that. So you should be figuring out how to take that service, idea, issue, or business to the bank, okay? So you can take yourself to the bank. <laughs> and you may be tempted to, like, hide away at home, um... Make sure that you take time for yourself. Don't forget me time. You have to recharge. Otherwise, this could be potentially draining for you, okay? A lot of action, a lot of energy for you guys. Virgo, this is going to be in your 11th house. You're going to have heightened magnetism and flair, okay? And you also will be pulling manifestation into our physical reality. It's time to relax in the comfort of your own home or just make home, be at home wherever you are. Or <laughs> you could be making house wherever you go to, <laughs> as we say in Hawaii, you know. You walk into somebody's house, you meet, and you take off your shoes, you sit on the couch, you put your legs up on the arm, and they're like, wow, bro, just make house. <laughs> and then, you know, you follow up with, well, what, bro, you get one soda, I can grab. Yeah, coins, coins. So, you know, get up and help yourself to soda in the fridge after you've asked, of course. But, yeah, that's like the very essence of making house. Your house is my house. Your land is my land kind of deal. <laughs> For some, that might not work too well with people. That might be like people just coming in and trying to take over. You know, the overpowering Scorpio theme. You might have to tell them to get the fuck out. Um, <laughs> who knows? We will be dealing with all kinds. <laughs> okay, so... You might want to spend a lot of time with friends right now and be with people that you're, com you're comfortable with in comfortable surroundings, okay? With people you consider friends because you really need to get away and feel a little bit of personal happiness for a minute, you know? There's been nothing but trauma and trauma and depression and crisis after crisis, especially for the Virgo whose shadow side, who shadow side says, oh, I'm a victim. Okay, so you could see a lot of people who were victims needing a break or it could be like you're feeling like you were actually a victim but realizing that you're better than the acts that were committed against you. You're better than the crimes that were committed against you, okay? You need to just have a good meal, have some good friends, have a glass of wine and have some adventures and talk story, you know, talk about the good old days, talk about things you want to do. And, and it'll all make you feel like 
you know, life is about feelings and friends, not about money and possessions. Not at all, okay? You could get a feeling of sati uh, satiation, being satisfied with what's happening right now, and that's about letting go and letting things be, letting things exist, okay? And that is going to invite the blessings that actually surround you, okay? Never mind what's going on in the outside world. You need to open up internally to allow things to come in. And if you want things to be heightened, okay, it's coming. So, you know, get to it. <laughs> Take the time to let people know, your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones, let them know that you love them, okay? Those are the people that elevate and support you, that hold you up and pull you up and help you rise. Libra, this is gonna be in your 12th house. You have creative strength of purpose, and you may kind of feel like you're in between dreams and hallucination, like everything is surreal, okay? Your ability to perceive and commune with your inner self is going to be emphasized, where previously you were cut off, okay? There's, you're going to have such internal clarity about things, events, people, places, thoughts, actions. It's like you're suddenly going to... No, Claire Cognizance. <laughs> okay, so the intensity in the air will break some barriers or some internal boundaries, okay? Walls that you've put up. Walls are coming down. You're going to be able to heal some wounds, wounds now, now that you've confessed to them or confessed to yourself that, yes, I've been an asshole or, God, I fucked up. That kind of deal. Okay. Um, there's things going on around you in your day-to-day -day life there's something that's being worked on behind the scenes I'm not sure if it's something secret or if it's something you're not talking about or if there's just a little bit you're doing every day it's not something big enough to talk about until it's done um, there's something being done behind the scenes though behind the scenes can also be in the head to the internal work okay this is gonna come to fruition something's gonna come out like in like I was just saying the purge um, your the walls that you set for your your ba internal boundaries that you unintentionally set. Okay, this is also physical too. Okay, there's something happening that you're trying to break through. I just heard glass ceiling. Okay, you're trying to do something over the top that puts you above the rest. You're trying to rise, okay? But if there's something you're doing in quiet, just take care, hush. <laughs> You um, you may not want to reveal things right now, uh, unless that's part of the publicity stunt. Hmm, publicity stunt. That just came to my mind. Okay, so if you have any kind of confrontations right now, Libra, you want to avoid them. Okay, find a way around them because it could put you at a disadvantage. Be more subtle. Not saying to manipulate, but yeah, if the emotions run high a little bit, I see nothing wrong with manipulating the toxicity away. Manipulating is just moving things around. It's not, it's nothing bad, but it does have bad connotations. Okay, so use that energy to your effect. Delve deep into the psychology and see if you can get around this confrontation or this anger or get to the root at what's really going on. Scorpio, this is going to be in your first house. You will be very sharp, okay? And like a magnet, you will draw people to you, okay? For a day or two, things might get really wacky, okay? And it's because of you. <laughs> One of the causes may be you. You may be vibrating out so much energy. The time is right and there's a lot of pressure, okay? You need to bring some projects, some critical projects to a conclusion and finalize them with finishing touches just to show the world who you are. This is a coming out, a presentation of what you're about and what you do, okay? It's not so much on what you've done in the past, but it's about what you stand for, what you represent, okay? And it's time to let people know Who's the real you, okay? From the purge, emerge. I just heard that. <laughs> emerge from the purge, shiny and new. Okay, the whole, whatever's happening right now, the whole circumstances surrounding it may have you a little giddy or giggly. And it's, it's like part of the whole picture. You may be laughing or giggling to yourself. I don't know if it's like a, <laughs> wait till people see, or if it's a, <laughs> 
Um, good. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Um, I am a Scorpio, so that just came out of me. That would be my reaction for this. <laughs> this is a time to take a ride on that energy and make it yours. This is your energy for you to mold any way you want. So it's all up, it's up to you what you decide to focus on, right? Okay, <laughs> Sagittarius, this is going to be in your second house, okay? You're going to be intuitive. You're going to have an imaginative personality, and your intellectual approach will be strong and balanced, just like all the other fire signs. Now, you're also going to be under a little bit more intensity than usual. It's time to wrap things up financially to collect money or collect on projects that have come to fruition. Pick things up, okay? And you're generally going to be tying up loose ends. And because it's a full moon, you might be ending some loose ties too, okay? That should mean that watch your spending for a little while. Um, or it could mean that you don't have an extra um, burden on your pocketbook. It's going to be less necessary. Um, it is kind of hard to do at the full moon because things are crazy. And um, judgments can be off, even though this is a judgment moon, <laughs> People can be judgmental, but don't worry about them. Put your focus on the very last payment, the finishing touch, and uh, round out what you've done. You know, you've got all these projects, you've got three steps, you've got two more to do here, three more to do here, one more to do here, five more to do here. Take care of the one and three and work on the next one. Whatever you're closer to competing, finish that up. Oh boy, I'm already going on an hour. Long horoscope, guys. Um, there's just so much information going on. This is like a legendary moon, literally and physically. Okay, so Sag, it's time to show off what you got. Okay, make the most of it. Um, don't keep piling it on. Finish what you're doing right now and concentrate on reaping the rewards of the final product or the final reveal. Capricorn, this is going to be in your third house. You're going to have heightened magnetism and flair. Um, you're also going to be pulling your dreams, making it into physical reality. With you, there's going to be a lot of people talking. Everybody wants to talk, talk, talk. Everybody got to talk to you or you got to talk to all kinds of people. You got to go drive here. People got to drive you. Holy crap, the emails, the phone calls, the text messages. You are being hailed. You are needed, okay? Now, everybody is going to be, everybody needs to speak to you right now, 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 or you need to speak to everybody now, now, now. Um, the full moon is usually like that, but there's going to be a lot of communication. You need to finish up some correspondence and tie up loose ends as some things that you may have established, um, they really begin to amount to something. That means that you're going to have a lot of last minute things to do in the space in a short span of time. Okay, so make sure you leave room for uh, detours. <laughs> okay, don't over schedule yourself in advance. Leave room for last minute things that come rushing in and demand equal attention. And concentrate on matters that require finishing up right now. Okay, matters that require closure right now. Any new ideas you have, save for later when you can get proper attention. There's just too much going on right now. You cannot devote energy to anything new at the moment. Aquarius, this is going to be in your fourth house. You have creative strength of purpose. And ooh, fourth house means you might need a little bit of space. <laughs> There's a lot of energy. Both people in the house or all the family members in the house are putting off a lot of energy. There's a lot of things going on up here because of this major purge. And you may be like claustrophobic you can get on each other's nerves um it could be like i can't fucking stand you get away from me can i have some peace and quiet all you got to do is get out of the house go do something go to a separate room go do something together go see some friends okay that'll distract you from the mind energy and put that on the back burner so while this is still processing you need you can pay attention to your friends and doing something fun together rather than the alternate which is fighting why fight, okay? Choose the better of the deal. Get out of the house and take a break for it all. You know, sometimes you got to just open up and let people in. If there's something bothering you that's on your mind, mention it. You don't have to ream it down their throats and constantly talk about it every second, but say something so they know what space that you're in so that they won't step on your toes, 
in your space, okay? And vice versa, so you don't step on theirs. Open up a talk. Anyways, so whatever you choose to do, you're going to find yourself with matters coming to a head, and you're going to be making decisions about how well your internal game plan or your boundaries or the lines that you've made, the fences, it's time to test it, okay? So this may be calling for a rebuild, whereas before you may have had fences or that inner block or that inner wall, a piece of that needs to be taken down and rebuilt so it's translucent and you can allow people in and still maintain that boundary. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Pisces, this is going to be in your fifth house. You're going to have sharp mentality, okay? And at this time, you have the ability to win favor with other people. Spontaneity is a watchword right now, okay? Time to kick back and have some fun. Um, most likely with some close friends and children. This feels really, really intimate. And if you do go to a party uh, and, you know, get shit-faced or, you know, get drunk, go a little bit over over the top, you will be in good company because everybody's feeling like that, too. It's a full moon. Let's freaking party. <laughs> I just saw, um, what was that? Um, Jeff Spicoli. Hey, bud, let's party. I just heard that in my head. Basically, that kind of energy, you know. What are you doing today? I don't know. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Well, shit, come on over for coffee. And then, you know, 10 o'clock, we'll go to the store and let's have a party. Well, all right. You know, that kind of deal. <laughs> Pisces are known for not having boundaries. So that's why I said, yeah, you know, let's have a party first thing in the morning. <laughs> so uh, Pisces are known for, I want to say, bleeding into bound having not having clear boundaries. So they kind of bleed into blade, blend, merge, assimilate with others so you don't need an excuse to have a party during this full moon okay so everybody will be celebrating something for some reason or another okay there's a lot of passion it's very intense and anything you decide to talk about any topic can be rampant okay everybody can be excited about yeah i heard that too or blah 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 this is how i feel okay if you're trying to work or you're trying to get business done You'll be swimming against the tide. So if you do have that option, just go with the flow. Okay, work can wait. But if you are working on something that's some kind of creative project, make sure you save, save it on disk, save it on CV, CD, email it to yourself, save it to the cloud, you know, um, on film, on tape, on CD. If you're just going to be out to lunch and not wanting to get much work done, then don't worry about it. <laughs> It's a free fall for all, literally. Okay, so what to watch out for this week. You guys might experience issues with um, your bones, your back, your spine, your knees, your teeth, stomach issues, uh, basically your digestive system. Now, I have body fluids in here twice, right under each other. So there could be like, you know, eye boogers, uh, your ears are leaking, you're sniffling, you're like, God, did I just drool? You know, things of that nature. You're going to be like, what the hell is going on? And with all the outer planets being involved and with so much um, earth energy it's physical you literally will feel like you're beat up with all these outer planet transits and um, all the earth energy you feel like you you got run over by a truck like what the fuck happened to me you're tense you're sore you ache all over you got a headache <laughs> you can't see your eyes are burning what the fuck <laughs> what the hell is happening to me am I dying I'm getting old <laughs> which is a little bit of the Saturn and Pluto retrograde. I am too old for this shit. I feel beat up. Okay, so where was I? Uh, lymph glands, soft midsection area, your throat, your tonsils, the glands in the neck, your larynx, your feet, your ears, uh, glands again. Um, so heighten on glands. Male sex organs, uh, your eliminative system, and we discussed this earlier. Your intestines, uh, lymph glands, glands again. Assimilative system, your thighs, sciatic nerves, hips, arteries, liver, allergies, mouth, arms, hands, your lungs, your nervous system, kidneys, the female sex organs, your skin, adrenal glands, face, sinuses, brain, eyes and ears again, and all things that hang on your head. And actually, I'm getting a headache from 
my head vibrating for the last hour, nine minutes, and ten seconds I've been talking. <laughs> so that is your full moon and Scorpio horoscope. I'll see you guys on the other side of the purge. Hope you make it through.